Okay, it's okay, my dear learners, from to learners, I welcome you once again um, to math series on revision ug.com. Uh, please subscribe, share, and follow for the latest updates. Uh, together, you can eradicate math fears. Uh, I urge you also to click on the link below the video uh, for the quizzes and uh, lesson notes. Okay, in the previous lesson, we looked at um, solving the inequalities and the symbols we use in inequalities. And then here, we are going to look at representing inequalities on a number line. So when you're representing um, an inequality on a number line, it is just very simple. Uh, let's get started. So let us look at our first example. So when we have x is a less, a less or equal to a 3. So this inequality means that any value which is less than a 3, it is supposed to be um, x. So there are very many values there. But again, they are telling us that less or equal to a 3, meaning that 3, it is the boundary point, the starting point, but it is also inclusive because it is x is either a 3 or those numbers that are less than a 3. So um, we draw our number line. So this is a 0. Uh, we are having negative 1 on the left, negative 2, so to negative infinity. Then we have a 1, we have a 2, there is a 3, then a 4. So our boundary point, it is a 3, so we draw a ball there, the circle. Then because this 3 is inclusive, so this circle has to be shaded. Then the numbers that are less than 3 have a 2, 1, 0, up to infinity negative negative infinity therefore the solution set is going to just move on like this so uh, this one is showing us that uh, x is less or equal to a uh, three if we are asked to get a solution set so the answers can be three is also inclusive due to this one then we have a two a one zero then two infinity okay example number two uh, they can give us uh, a is greater than a uh, negative two so a is greater than negative two so uh, meaning that we have this is a zero negative one then negative two then negative three then here we have a one we have a two so our boundary point is negative two so we draw a circle there so we don't have uh, equal to so it is not inclusive then we look at the numbers that are bigger than negative two so any number which is bigger than negative two is going to be is said to be the value of a so when you look at negative three it is less but again when you look at negative one it is greater than negative 2 then when you look at a 0 is greater than negative 2 then 1 is greater than negative 2 so uh, our, um, our uh, number line representation is going to look like this then uh, the solution is said the possible values of a can either be negative 1 a zero a one and it is continuous uh, we don't put two negative two simply because they are not telling us that it is greater or equal to so it's not inclusive and that's why we have not shaded our circle okay example three here i think we are together uh, they can give us this um negative negative three is less or equal to x less or less than a one now when look at this one this one it is what we call intersection so this one is the intersection so we are having our zero negative one then this is negative two then negative three and again we have a one then a two and a three why am i saying it is an intersection because the boundary line it is in at negative three then a uh, negative three is less than x meaning that any number um which is less than x or uh, which is negative three is less than x meaning that any number which is greater than uh, negative three is the value of x okay let me first simplify it from here now when we have negative three is less than or equal to x let us first take the first portion here uh, this means that negative three is less than or equal to x meaning that x is greater or equal to negative 3 so negative 3 is going to be inclusive then the values of x there are those there are those values that are greater than negative 3 so negative 2 and onwards uh, because 
uh, then onwards then again we have another inequality that is x is less than a 1 meaning that numbers that are less than 1 so this is we have another boundary point let me rub this one clearly so we have another boundary point at a 1 now if we have that boundary point at a 1 and now this one is not inclusive so and they're telling us that x is less than so the numbers that are less than 1 are not this way 2 is greater 3 is greater so they are coming this way so that's why I said it is going to be a what you call an intersection so between negative negative three and a one so neg one is not inclusive whereas negative three is inclusive so the solution sets for the solution set for x it can be negative three negative two a one negative one zero and one so it is it is stopping it is finite it is stopping there uh-huh so it is a definite one so let us go and look at other more all right so we are having another question um here example four it is telling us that negative two is uh, less or equal to y less or equal to a four now a good learner automatically now you've seen that this one is the intersection uh -huh. so those of us who have not understood now let us first break our equation so negative two is less or equal to y now if we start with y it will be y now is going to be less or equal to negative two because negative two is smaller than y what does that mean meaning that any number which is bigger than negative two is going to be a value of y because the negative two is small is smaller than y meaning that y is bigger than negative two or equal to a negative two. so uh, our number line here so we are having a zero a negative one then this is negative two uh, then here we have a one then a two then we have a three and uh, then we go to a four and then a five so our boundary point here it is a negative two then because negative two is inclusive so we are going to shade it and again another boundary point it is a four here then it's going to be an intersecting part then a four is also inclusive so the solution set for this is going y the values of y are, is either negative two negative one zero one two three and four it is limited because it is either less or equal to a four and the numbers that are less than four they are this way they are going this way then you do you shouldn't exceed negative two because they are saying y is either equaling to negative two or less than i mean greater than negative two okay i think now that one is solved let us look at also at this uh, this is now zero is less than q less than five automatically this one is very simple now uh this is our zero a one a two then we continue we have a three then we have a four then we have a five then here we have negative one so to infinity even this one to infinity then to infinity so um also to infinity positive then our boundary points we have a zero so our first circle there then another one here so it is in the middle so it is intersection so our circles are not uh, shaded simply because uh, they are not occurring to that to that okay now um uh, let us look at another it in at uh, this form so they can say i uh, solve uh, solve the following i uh, solve the following inequalities i uh, solve the following inequalities uh inequalities and illustrate and illustrate and illustrate the, their solutions and illustrate to show their solutions and show their solutions on a number line all right so we are having uh, our first one is uh, here a it is uh, 15 minus 40 less i mean greater or equal to a uh, five now uh, here we have to first solve because there's now an inequality involving uh, needing uh, calculations so we are going to collect like a terms we are going to take this 15 this way uh-huh so this 15 has to come here so it is now 15 minus 15 minus 40 not plus because when you add this one it's going to become a third and we what our aim is to make this one a zero so to go back where it came from so greater or equal to a five plus i mean sorry uh this is minus 
and minus 15. Then what are we having? Negative 40 is greater or equal to negative what? Negative 10. Uh, then we divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So this with this one, so we get a t. Because we have divided by a negative, then we are going to have less or equal to by 4, 1, then by 4, i sorry, uh, by, by 2, let us take two so by okay by four one then by four we get two remainder at uh, two which is now going to be two two out of four then uh, this t is less or equal to two and a half so two point five uh-huh therefore we are going to have a t is less is less or equal to two point five that is two and a half so on a number line uh, we are going to have a zero then this is negative one then negative infinity and uh, then we have a one we have a two then we have a three we have a four now our boundary point is going to be between here that is where we have uh, so sorry between a two because it is two and a half so two two and a half then three so here we are going to have our a circle then it's going to be shaded because it's inclusive so uh, t is less is less than 2.5 so the numbers that are less than 2.5 they are towards the right so infinity there so uh, the values of t can either be uh, 2.5 inclusive then 1 then 1 um then uh, sorry not 1 2 then 1.5 like that one then 1 then 0 then 0 0.5 then negative 1 and so on like that okay now um let us also I uh, get another here. Let me rub this part here. Uh, so we get uh, another. One. So another one is saying, uh, let us see it. Uh, so this one is is telling us to do what? Uh, this number two is telling us that uh, we have a third. It is a third. Um, a third b. It is a third b minus into brackets b plus two is greater or equal to eight so what are we going to do we are going to simplify then after simplifying we are going to uh, to show this the solution on a number line so uh, we are going to multiply through by the denominator so what is this one it is three so a third b and uh, then times three minus brackets b plus 2 this is plus 2 then times 3 is less or equal to I mean greater or equal to 8 times 3 so by 3 1 by 3 1 so we have a b is equal to now 3 times this one we get 3 b then plus 3 times 2 that is a 6 greater or equal to 8 times 3 that is 20 a 4 so we collect like times b minus this one what are we getting we are getting negative 2b plus a 6 minus a 6 greater or equal to 24 minus a 6 so negative 2b is greater or equal to uh, 20, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23, 24 uh, is equal to 18. So we divide by negative 2. We divide by negative 2 here. So by 2, 1 by 2 will remain with a b. Because we have divided by negative, don't forget that then the sign changes to less or equal to by 2 once, by 2 here, 9, but it's the negative 2, and 9. Then we are going to show it on our number, number line. So uh, because they are negatives, so less than so any number less than so we are going to look at uh, this one is a zero this is a one then a two infinity the negative one then we have negative two negative three negative four then five the negative six negative seven here uh, then negative eight then uh, negative 9 then negative 10 so our boundary point is a 9 so our um, negative is inclusive so we shed that so the num any number which is uh, less than um, uh, b is less than negative 9 so the numbers that are less than negative 9 that is negative 10 so it's going like this to infinity and now this is the infinity negative infinity then this is negative um positive infinity okay so one more uh one more one more example uh -huh. example is telling us that uh it is um, okay it is uh this one's very simple it is telling us that x 
uh, it is um, it is x is less or equal to 4 and also we represent uh, x is such that x is greater than negative two. so uh, this one is very simple to show and uh, then this is a then this is b so we are having a uh, zero negative one then infinity negative then you have negative one negative two negative three sorry these are positives uh, so one two three a uh, four and a five then um this one less or equal to the numbers the boundary point is a four it is inclusive less than so any number which is less than four is the value of x so uh so that one then if you are to show so this one x is greater than negative two so the numbers that are greater than negative two so another number line here we have a zero negative one then negative two negative three infinity then one then a two positive infinity now our negativity is the boundary point <laughs> sorry then again um uh, any number which is greater than this so greater so they are this way so this is x is greater than negative at two so you try out this one um it is saying uh, this one you solve and you find out this is um a 10 is less or equal to 20 minus 5y less or equal to a 15 so you try out that one uh, therefore i've been a good learner i congratulate you upon choosing revision uganda and please follow subscribe follow and share the math stories remember together we can eradicate the fear of mathematics my form to learners please click on the link uh, below to get our quizzes and also the lesson notes we meet in the next lesson lesson three on level mathematics series revision uganda